Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Amplified and today we have a little bit of a tense episode because I logged on and I was, you know, thinking about what I was going to record and stuff. There are many, many things I want to record and then I noticed that uh, Bitha, there, just logged on. Yeah. Also, I have my camera account on because I was going to do some time lapsing. But, um, yeah, so I have got lots of potions in my hopper. I don't know if I'm going to be using them. Don't have a clue at all if we're going to be in a fight of sorts. Um, but I don't really want to risk it. So we're going to be keeping an eye on um, things. And, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see if Biffa comes along and tries to kill us. I have no idea. But um, I'm not going to risk it this time. I'm not going to risk it. Okay, so I'm about 99% sure that Biffa isn't going to be coming for me today, so, well, at least we're prepared. We have brewed up some potions and made ourselves a little bit buffer than uh, before. We are buffed up, we've got our diamond armor on, we've got our sharp sword on, and uh, we're pretty ready, but I don't believe he will be coming for us, but that doesn't matter. We can do that another day. So, I've been around here looking at my hotel because you guys have been requesting that I work on it a bit more. Now, my mom does know that he... Well, I, I put my book in at the Redstone Consultancy to do the elevator. That will be happening soon, I believe. So, fingers crossed about that. If not, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I'll come up with a better idea. But it doesn't matter too much. Cause I, but let, someone said that this might actually work with the new 1.8 release or something. Because it fixes something to do with servers or something. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, that is fine. Uh, we are pretty good with that. We can end up up and down for now since there isn't actually anything for people to visit. But I was looking up these walls here and the walls back there and stuff like that and I was just like, what on earth is going on? This is way too flat and boring. So we are going to be doing some tweaks in here. We've also got a couple of villages in here, if you remember that live stream I did a while back. We've got a couple of villagers, some villager dudes, just chilling here, which are going to be like the staff. So we're going to keep those in there for now because we will need those to breed up in the future. And uh, we'll just leave this area as is. And we'll just work on this little area, maybe the roof, maybe this little area in here. And we'll just make it look a bit more fancy and ready for Mumbo to make the elevator in the future. So let's go on, let's move on, work on this a little bit, and I will come back to you guys when I've maybe sorted up these walls. These are, these are really bugging me at the moment. Okay, so I've done a whole bunch of work on these walls and they look way better. Look how much better they look. Oh, if you go back to the previous clip, they look way better. Also, we did this, which looks way better than it did before as well. Um, I've blocked it off with carpets currently because I'm thinking villagers are going to be in here. But the only issue we will have, possibly, is with baby zombies. Now, I believe, um, since on Game Mode 4, I have a double trapdoor. So I have a trapdoor there and I have a trapdoor on this level as well. Uh, both basically in these two blocks, um, and they could actually get through, so I'm not sure if, um, yeah, if we're going to have an issue with that. But what we're going to try with the carpet is since we've got a dog over here, now this guy randomly appeared behind me. I was building facing this way, I turned around, there's a dog. <laughs> yes, he is one of my dogs. Um, I've been breeding them up a little bit, actually, because I want some uh, kind of battle dogs. You're a battle dog, you've got a black collar, you're like... A ninja or something. Yeah, so you go kill it. Oh, I thought you were going to go kill that guy. No, he's just going to go for the villagers. He's not bothered. But anyway, I thought, you know, if I go in here, possibly, the dog may follow me. And I'm interested to see whereabouts he go. Stay there. Now, come on. Come on, doggy. You're about the height of a baby zombie, right? Come on. Come on, I've got food and everything. Oh, come on, puppy. No. You're really not gonna... Can you not come in? Oh, we can. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, this may not work then. Oh, wow, that didn't work either. Um, so yeah, any options, guys? Let me know. I mean, I guess I could just put half slabs, like, probably here and here. Oh, not there. There. And that'll work. I mean, that'll work, right? Possibly in the bottom half, maybe, instead. I don't know. It's going to look a bit naff here, isn't it, though? That's the only issue. Uh, I really want it to be, you know, a villager place. Yeah, look at this. This doesn't look like a... Uh, it doesn't look like a reception, basically, is what it's supposed to be um, if that was closed. So, I don't know. We'll think of something. Definitely leave me a comment below if you can figure out a good way of uh, keeping it zombie, baby zombie proof, um, uh, with villagers in there. Otherwise, we'll pick a different um, mob or something to put in there. Do you want to be there? 
Do you want to go in there? You can be the the uh, receptionist if you would like, doggy. No. Okay, you can just chill there for now anyway. Um, so yeah, they, they look pretty cool. Um, we're probably going to go and get on with some more work. I've also got a couple of tasks I want to do over there this episode. Um, and we're going to get loads of mini, mini things done today. Um, and uh, yeah, this looks way, way better. So I have come up with a plan. And my plan is to get these villama, villagema bobs. I can't really call it vill villagema bobs. Wow, I can't do that. Uh, skelly bobs works. Villagema bobs don't really work too well. Anyway, um, what I'm gonna do is bring them through here. I've made this look a little bit more awesome. We're definitely gonna get a guardian in there at some point. I might, I might get XP in there as Zuljin to bring one over and stuff. Um, but yeah, we've basically blocked this in. This now looks like, I don't even know what, it looks like a prison almost. I don't know. The villager is gonna not feel so great in here. Um, we're gonna have maybe both of them in here. At least that'll keep them safe. It'll mean that we can do something with this corner, which I'm gonna do next. Maybe a little sitting area. And, um, I don't know, it's looking pretty cool. So we've added like a little uh, thing there. What is... Is there something in there? Was that a like, torch that freaked me out? I just look... No, here, there is an enderman. There is an enderman. And I've got my sound off in Minecraft. That's really not helpful. Oh, holy moly. Okay, really sound? Why? Why is my sound off? Why is my sound off? Holy hell. I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye. Usually I'm seeing things, but no, I actually saw an enderman. Anyway. This should be safe now. I got rid of all the zombies that were just hanging out over here. Um, now we should be able to let them out. So, come on, dude. Do you want to go for a little ride? You want to go that way, don't you? Come on now. Look, I've got you in a nice little area to go. Uh, should we get your friend in as well? If I'm careful, I should be okay. Come on. Go. Well, this is going to take a while. Do, do I really need to go get a minecart for you? Really? Really? Real okay, fine. Minecart it is. Let's go. Let's go grab them. Oh man, it's turning night time. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Oh my god, how are we gonna get in here? Shall we Oh we can we can come up there? Okay. Uh come on guys, you better have moved it. You better have moved it into here. You haven't, have you? Okay, well, track it is. We're gonna have to push them in here and do oh, we're not gonna have to do that. Oh, that might work. We might be able to fix this. This might be okay. We'll see, we'll see. Doggy, you stay there, dude. We need to keep look after these guys, okay? Okay, so come on, dude. You can you can fit in here, right? There we are. Now how the hell do I not push you in here? There we are. You go through. Okay, so now it's your go, dude. Come on. Come on, you wanna join your friend, right? Come on. This is why villagers just villagers and me don't work. Villagers and me do not There we are! I mean they work fine, right? Uh now let's break you. Block you up. Oh, is it go go in there? Get in there, go in there. Go in there, he'll be nice and safe, I promise. And by I promise, I mean I'm, I can't quite be sure, but we'll go with that. We'll leave you guys in there for a second, and we should be able to block this up, and uh, yeah, we've pretty much done it, which is not bad. Not bad at all. We'll block up that. I'll make sure there's no zombies and no zombie babies, because they're the worst. And we should have them nice and safe and be able to start decorating this little corner over here, because this is a nice little area for a seating slash maybe restaurant. Or something area, maybe just seating area. I think that might be quite nice for a little, uh, little hotel. And um, yeah, they don't look, they don't look half bad. We could even actually leave them in the minecarts. We should have probably thought this a bit through, but that's fine. At least they're in minecarts now. And uh, you're gonna watch them, doggy. Yeah, make sure they don't get hurt. Cool. Well, I think I'm well and truly done here for now. We have the villagers in their place. They're on minecarts, which looks nice because they're sitting down, aren't they? Right. Uh, well, at least it kind of looks more like they're sitting down in there. I might actually add some furniture. I might add a, a mug of tea there, like with a little flower pot. And I added these. I'm not quite sure about these. Obviously, it's an odd... No, it's an even number, so we don't have the uh, the one stripe in the middle, which sucks a little bit, but that's fine. We've added a little seating area over here. I'm sure I'll do something with these walls, but I need to see, obviously, what's happening with this area first uh, to, uh, to decide what's going on there. So I'm having to keep away from this area, which sucks a little bit, because I could definitely do with uh, sprucing this up as well. But um, we'll definitely do the final touches on the bottom part um, when the elevator is finished. But um, I think that looks really, really good, and I really do love these. I've even added like little stairs here and here, just on the corners, just just here and there, and I think it really adds something, actually. You know what? I thought I was going to be like, you know, ha uh, having plainer, like more plain walls, I guess, inside. Um, but these actually look way better, so I'm very, very happy. We'll definitely continue this style upwards as well when we do the other floors. But anyway, so enough of the hotel. We have pretty much finished there. We've also left our little doggy just outside there, just chilling. Hey, friend. I will have to name him. He's going to be like a little security dog that's hanging out there since he actually just decided that he wanted to work there. He teleported to me while I was working on it. So, you know, 
If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. Um, so what we're going to do now is clear up these trees here because we really, really need to start doing something here. Now, I have been discussing with many, many people during live streams and stuff with the chat, um, discussing what should go here. And um, when I was on my Patreon server, um, uh, one of my patrons, uh, Remiko, actually built like a little kind of, I didn't want anything tall, like I didn't want a fountain or anything, which would have looked great, but I didn't really want it to uh, cover up the, um, the view, basically, of the hotel. Uh, I mean, my rent is kind of low right now, but, um, yeah, I wanted to be able to see my hotel pretty well. So, we're going to build something quite flat, but it's going to be more like a park kind of thing. So, we're going to move this round area that's going to have, like, some seating and stuff like that. And I think it'll look pretty cool and not make this area too crazy. So we'll do that, and then obviously in the live stream we'll probably prettify the area by adding more trees and stuff around it and do the terrain stuff off camera. But um, let's get on with this, get my stuff together, and uh, hopefully this will look cool as well. Okay, so I've started digging out the area, and it's got to be directly across from that. But we're going to have a little bit of an issue in that the design that I have a screenshot of um, from when he made the design in the creative server um, is a little bit too big. It's like 16 across or something, which is a little bit too crazy for me. But um, we've done a kind of a half-sized one almost so we're basically going to be using these blocks we also need some brick but i'm not going to be going to do that today because it will literally take me forever to find some i might be better doing that in a live stream collecting things like that that's a lot better and a lot easier and um yeah a lot less waste of time when i'm recording so um that is awesome so we're definitely going to get on with this we'll maybe put a different block in place uh, probably some stone or something in place um of the brick or maybe even some stone brick instead um just to see what it looks like it might even look better um and um yeah so we're gonna do this uh, maybe we'll start putting seats around or something in the future but let's quickly get this ready and also i did realize there is a little tiny fountain in the middle so we'll maybe build that see if that looks good or not and uh, then go from there well, I think that is it for the time we have for today's episode, but we can watch the sun rise that way. The sun's over there behind me. But look, this is what we made. We made this little area here, which I think looks cool. It looks completely different than the original thing, but that's fine. We've used a lot of elements like the leaves and these and the rose bushes that I had a few um, a uh, just around the place. There's one over there that I think I just used to grab these ones. And I think that was awesome. Once we've got a little bit more kind of grass and stuff going on around here, if you've got any ideas of just like decorative things that would go in this area that aren't too tall or anything, just like maybe garden things, maybe just custom trees and a path or something, maybe another seat next to the waterfall, that'd be awesome. But I'm really, really happy with this. I think it looks pretty awesome actually, especially since I didn't have any quartz. So I've used iron, which doesn't look too bad actually. We might change it for quartz in the future. And also we might add the brick in around the edges here, which might look pretty cool as as well but that is it guys i've run out for this episode the episode was kind of a bit kind of odd bits and bobs everywhere but i think that you know is good you know it's nice to have episodes where you know it's, it's a bit more chilled out we kind of just do a few projects around the place and i'm definitely going to be mixing these in with my normal episodes where i get on with one particular task because it kind of it takes the pressure off a little bit on uh, coming up with super crazy big ideas and stuff. But anyway, that is it, guys. Definitely leave a like if you have enjoyed this episode. Comment below with anything you think I need to add to my kind of resort area. And uh, tell me how excited you are for the, the hotel to have an elevator. I'm pretty excited for when that is a project we can then complete. Because we'll definitely be completing that as soon as that elevator is done. Don't you worry. I'm excited by it. I hope you guys are too. And that is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!